helped her catch her friend's boyfriend clearly in a lie. And she was going to go to her girlfriend and say, hey, this is what's going on. Was it well received or not, though? Hey, Sonia, good morning. Good morning, guys. How you doing? Great. Okay, for those that have not heard just yet, kind of bring us up to this point before you tell us if you had this conversation with your friend or not. Right. So my best friend, she's dating this dude who is complete trash. Um, and I kind of suspected that he had, um, that he was on dating apps or something. So an, a friend of mine uh, actually told me that she saw that he had a Hinge account. So I told her about it. She absolutely didn't believe me. So I um, called you guys and tried to get proof. And sure enough, he was on there. So um, I actually... Uh, I actually told her about it, um, and she didn't believe it. So still, where we at right now? Still, yeah, still does not believe it. That was kind of the the risk that we thought you were running here, right? One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So, so at this point, you okay? I was gonna say at this point. So I told her, um, you know, what I found out about him, and then she refused to believe it. Per usual, I even sent her the segments from the Bird Show podcast, and she was pissed with me, you know, from getting a radio show on the phone. But you know, I but I told her, you know, as a friend, I'm just looking out for her. But she accused me of being jealous because I couldn't keep a man. Right. So why I might not be good at being in a relationship. I'm definitely not jealous of her and him. But whatever, right? <laughs> Um, so we actually made plans because he initially had plans for her, but canceled because he was going to go out with uh, your friend. So she canceled the plans that we had that night. So I just, I washed my hands of it. But then I found out Friday from a mutual friend that she actually went to the bar to see if her man was there. And sure enough, he was. And he did what he did best. He lied and told her that he ended up not being tired and he decided to go out for drinks with his buddy. But I'm like, if he initially had plans with you, why wouldn't he have called you if he wasn't tired anymore? But he then told her that, you know, the buddy, he stood him up and that he was just about to leave and go home. And like an idiot, she believed him. So. Look, here's, yeah. I'm guessing this is where this is going to go, is that in her heart and her gut, she knows what's up, right? But she doesn't, mm-hmm. she doesn't want to face this yet. So mm-hmm. no matter what evidence you have, the opinions of your friends, right. she's going to fight you guys on it. And then in six months or a year, when they break up, she's going to come back to you and go, I knew what you guys were talking about. I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay. But at, so when that does happen... And I'm asking on behalf of Sonia. So she she tried mm-hmm. to warn her friend. You, I mean, you got involved without her asking. So I can understand her being right. a little miffed. Um, mm-hmm. However, throwing the dagger that you're just saying this because you're jealous you can't keep a man. Mm-hmm. That, that was low. That was mm-hmm. hitting below the belt. Even mm-hmm. I heard a little bit. Yeah. Um, so mm-hmm. when that does happen, as a, if this is a good friend, <sighs> I'm kind of torn here because of the way she she's treated Sonia. Like... Do you still support your friend or are you like, no, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I tried to warn you about this. I, I'm not, I don't want any part of this. I'm not going to help you get Mm -hmm. through this because of the way you treated me when I tried to help you before. Like, do you, or do you just, or or do you just put all that aside and you're like, no, this is a friend and she's going through a tough time. So I'm still going to support her. Like, what do you do? I mean, I love her. That's my friend. And when she decides to finish dumpster diving with this dude, like, I'll still be here. <laughs> you know, I'll still be here, but I won't say anything in the future about if I find out anything about a relationship, like, I, that I, me and her won't have that conversation. I won't say anything since clearly she wants to kind of find out on her own, you know, so uh, we can still be friends. But that part of it, as far as telling her, hey, I found out this, I'm not saying anything. I've learned my lesson. Well, I think you can be there for somebody without actually being supportive. And I actually think both of you in some ways owe each other an apology. Like she needs to apologize for hitting below the belt because if any of my friends said that to me, I'd be swinging back. (laughs) But at the same time, I think too, I mean, I'm glad you came to us because we love drama Mm -hmm. and we love having a little Plotsky (laughs) to to find out if your boyfriend's going to cheat on you. But at the same time, I think I would feel some type of way about it if one of my friends went behind my back and went to a national radio show to figure out whether or not my boyfriend was uh, being a little skeezy. So I think you guys both have a little bit of apologizing to do. It's just going to take some time yeah. to get there while she, like you said, is in the middle of uh, dumpster diving. I think, I, <laughs> yeah. I think the friendship would be changed for me a little bit. Yeah. I, I would, I would mm-hmm. accept that my friend felt the way about me doing the 
the nosiness of it all. I get that. I would completely understand that. But then to take a shot at me mm-hmm. would, would make me question your intentions of being my friend in the first place. You would definitely have to take the high road on that and realize, look, she just doesn't want to hear this at all. So she is going to say whatever she can so you never bring it up ever again. But I don't know. I, I'd be pretty pretty angry about it also. I mean, I know that comment's coming from a place of hurt, and I'm like you. I think she under, like I think she knows in her heart what's going on. She just refuses to, to believe it because right now she thinks that's easiest, but you're just kicking this can down the road, and it's going to be that much more yep. nasty. You did the right thing, though, Sonia. You did what you could do. You know, you can't change what she, the direction she's going with this dude, but you did what you could. The Burt Show.